Hey guys, Nick here. Today we're going to go through how to do a VLOOKUP in NIME using the 2022 updated joiner node from NIME version 4.5.1. You'll know you're working with the newer joiner version node or the newer version of the joiner node when you see the node has three outputs at the end of it whereas the previous that you can see here only had one output on the end of it. Um, so that's how you can tell the difference. I have a video on the old one, but I figured I'd make a, one on the updated version just so you see a bit of the differences. Anyways, uh, let's get started. So the tables we're going to be working with are these two data tables that I have in this Excel file. The first table to the left is the sales data table. It just has sales data over a set period of time. And then the table to the right is a table that contains customer detail. So it contains a customer ID numbers along with their name and their age. Um, so there might be instances where we're working with our sales data and maybe we want to understand what our demogra customer demographics look like, what's our average customer age. So what we can do is we can use this left table as our primary table and we'll join to it additional detail from other tables. For example, this customer data table. So the goal is going to be to join or to VLOOK up the customer age from the customer data table over to the sales data table and we'll be able to do that with this customer ID number which we can see is present in both tables right uh, it's important to keep in mind that these are these two columns are how we can join or connect the two distinct tables um, as we'll need that info when we run our VLOOKUP in NIME using the joiner node so first to get started, um, I have the two tables already in NIME, as you can see, already set up. So we'll be able to just um, walk through and do the VLOOKUP right away. There you go, the two tables. So I have in here the sales data, and I know the sales data is the primary data that I'm working with, or my primary table. So I'm going to use that as a left table and I'm going to connect it to the top input of the joiner node. Uh, my apologies if I didn't explain, but you can find the joiner node if you go over to the node repository over here. And then if you just type in joiner, then you can drag and drop the node. And like I said, the left table connect to the top input. And then the table we connect to the bottom is the right input. We're going to connect the customer detail table here. So now we can double click to get started um, the configuration of the node. Because as you can see the, right now the node is in red status, which means you need to configure it. And you can configure it by double clicking into it, and then you'll get this configuration menu. So within this menu, we have a few different options, but I'm just going to walk you through the most important ones um, that will help us get done this VLOOKUP. So the first is this top section up here where we have the matching criteria all we do is we're going to click on add matching criteria and what we're going to say is the lookup value is the customer ID from the left table and then the lookup range is also the customer ID from the right table so you know how in Excel you do equals and then when you go to your VLOOKUP menu you would provide the lookup value as this customer ID and then the table range or the lookup range is uh, sorry is this column that also has a customer ID but in the secondary table so that's what we're doing in this first step in NIME is we're saying we're supplying these two arguments we're saying basically that these two tables can be looked up or joined on these similar columns um, and just a uh, once you get into more detailed joins or VLOOKUPs, you obviously you want to outline every single um, relationship between the two tables. You'll want to outline them all down to the last detail. Otherwise, um, you might get duplicate rows in your output. But moving on, the next section is the, the, the section that changed the most, in my opinion, from the previous joiner node is what you want to include in the output. So what type of join or view lookup you could say do you want to run in Excel or do you want to run in NIME, I'm sorry. So the default is this inner join. What the inner join says is 
whatever rows match oh, wrong file whatever rows match between both tables the I want the output to only show the finalized output where there's matching rows in both tables and then after that you can do a right a right join or a left join um, I always like to run with the left outer join where what we're saying here is I want everything from the left table you can see everything in in the yellow everything in the left circle is yellow so I want everything in the left table plus I want whatever matches from the right table to also be joined or to be looked up over into the output so you can see that from the right circle only the pieces that um, are similar to that of the left circle are highlighted um, if you did the full outer you'd get a final output of both tables combined whether there's a match or there's not a match between the two um, and you can play with these to get different combinations this is a right outer join um, you can even do anti joins which is almost like a method of filtering but that's a bit more advanced so we're just going to keep it to a left outer join because we know we want to bring in the customer age over to the sales data right so we'll leave selected matching rows and left unmatched rows that's our left outer join so then really the next most important piece is to go over to this column selection tab up top and here's where we're gonna tell Nime we want this column this column this column from the left table and then we want this column this column this column from the right table so in our example we want to keep the left table as is so we'll keep all the columns here and then we only want the customer age from the right table so what I'll do is um, the green boxes are what you want to keep in the output where the red is what you want to remove from the output so I don't want this customer ID or customer name in the um, the output table because we already have a customer ID in the in the left table our primary sales data table I don't really need it um, duplicated in in the right table so we'll remove both of those so now what we're saying is we want from the left table the transaction date item sold unit sold and the customer ID and then we want VLOOKUP or joined fr from the right table the customer age and then everything else from that right table the customer data table we don't really want it so we're excluding it um, we could finish the join with this so we'll hit apply we'll hit OK and now you can see that our node is in the yellow status this means that our node is now configured um, so we can right click and hit execute or we can hit F7 to execute so I'll right click hit execute and now you can see our node is executed because it's in the green status now that we're in the green status and executed we can right click one more time and then look for the join results select that and now we'll zoom in I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can for you guys and now we can see we have the transaction dates the item sold unit sold customer ID and we view look up the customer age over from the customer details table so that my friends is how you do a VLOOKUP in NIME uh, I think I'm gonna do a separate video where I go into more of the options um, such as like this append custom suffix um, the enforce inclusion exclusion and then also these um, the row keys and then the output options for these um, I'll go through some of that in more detail in another video um, so this is this will be try to keep it as short as I can for the VLOOKUP in the updated 9 version if you have any questions um, or any suggestions on what you want to see next drop a comment I'll get back to you as soon as I can uh, like always hit the like button subscribe and send this video to any of your friends that want to learn NIME um, for manipulating data if not I'll catch you guys on the next video